First off, I'm not stinky. I'm pheromone maxing. Mom just forced me to shout it. Well guys, today's gonna be a good day. There was a time on this channel before I started to frequent Twitter, before I discovered Darman, where I would just talk about people on the internet doing silly things. It's time to go back to our roots. And yes, I'm still battling my allergies, so I might sound a little bit sniffly for another day or two, okay? Just please bear with me. Pheromone maxing. If you don't know what it is, I'm sorry to break the news to you, but you're a beta, okay? I mean, sorry to ruin your day, but you needed to learn sooner than later. Pheromone maxing is the art of not showering or bathing yourself in any manner, really, with the goal of maxing out your pheromone stat, because everybody knows that what the ladies really want is a man that smells like unwashed ass. Dick cheese and crusty asshole is like a natural cologne. Just ask the caveman. Now, if you think I'm joking, well then, thank you. That's probably the nicest thing you could say right now. But unfortunately, for those of us with the noses, there are some people out there who really do buy into this. They won't bathe, they won't shower, they won't wash any part of their body, no deodorant. They do nothing that could potentially compromise their pheromones. Now, if you're confused on why a person might do this, don't worry, that just means you're normal. But we're gonna be looking at a TikToker today by the name of Fluff Dumpster to give us a bit of a crash course. Now, real quick before we jump into this, I would like to acknowledge the fact that there is probably like a 90% chance that this entire TikTok account is just satirical, but we're gonna continue knowing this because one, if it is satire, it's really good satire, and two, on the off chance that it isn't satire, these are the greatest videos I've ever watched in my entire life. So it's a win-win. Let's begin. Please subscribe. First off, I'm not stinky. I'm pheromone maxing. Kids at school don't really get it, so I'm not surprised that you on TikTok would not get it. I'll, I'll check what your username is pretty soon. But you just said I was stinky? That's not correct. Sure, I may not bathe, but I have natural pheromones. So it doesn't matter. Oh, brother. Okay, so if this is your first introduction to this kind of stuff, it's not really new. A lot of different people from a lot of different walks of life believe in these kind of human pheromone theories. Many, many animals are able to release pheromones to communicate with other animals, and a lot of people think that humans can do this too. There's really not a whole lot of science to back that up. There have been some studies that suggest that if you're with a person, you might become attracted to the chemicals that are released by their breath or to their sweat. But there's really no proof of humans having pheromones like other animals. But people who quote pheromone max think otherwise. Anyways, like I said, don't bully me. It's not kind. And I'll try to get your account suspended. Peace. Hmm, okay. I don't know if I'm a fan of that outro there, Fluff Dumpster. But can we be honest here for a moment, okay? It's one thing if a person's down on their luck and they don't have access to a shower, but if you are purposefully trying to make yourself smell like dumpster meat, no, you should be bullied. I'm fully, fully on board with that. That's one of those times where bullying is a net positive for society. Misconceptions about pheromone maxing. Um, lots of trolls in the comments saying that I'm stinky. Well, in real life, I'm not stinky. And a lot of people are actually surprised often when I say that I don't shower. For your knowledge. Hold on, hold on for a moment. Sorry to interrupt this seminar there, Fluff Dumpster, but I think I'm gonna start using for your knowledge instead of for your information. I feel like that stings just a little bit more. And... I, <clears throat> actually, my health teacher um, was quite surprised when I said that I don't shower and I explained uh, pheromone maxing to her thoroughly in front of the class and how alphas and omega males do it. Whoa there, Fluffy. Did you just admit you're an omega male? I don't know why I'm surprised. That's exactly what I should expect from a beginner pheromone maxer. I don't know why I'm even wasting my time with this. Come talk to me when you're a sigma like me, buddy. I'm in the gym covered in dairy. Pheromones going absolutely fucking insane. It's called curdle maxing. It's a new technique. Wouldn't expect you to know that, though. Your health teacher was only listening to you because she couldn't open her mouth to respond because if she did, she would burst out in laughter after hearing you admit that you're an Omega male. This is kind of embarrassing for you, Fluffy. Um, right, so people can learn, like you bullies out there. Um, 
but basically like the rundown of, of pheromone maxing what you have to do just like stop showering um wear your clothes for a little longer stuff like that um the food you eat also makes a difference um fast food is more potent um things like red bull too they help red bull fluff dumpster you're drinking red bull and you call yourself a pheromone maxer nothing but piss and monster energy has entered my body for the last 15 years and you want to tell people to drink red bull and eat fast food where did you get your pheromone maxing certification man you should be ashamed um p.s one last thing um if you wanted an analogy pheromone maxing would be like a keto diet for your hygiene um i forgot to say that so i'm putting it here um peace uh good night what? Wait, what? What do you mean? I went through his entire page and this is never revisited. How is pheromone maxing like the keto diet? You can't just drop that knowledge bomb on us and then run away. You have to explain such a statement. Is the act of bathing supposed to be the carbs in this scenario? I, I don't really know how to follow this. It can't be that simple because basically like every fad diet cuts out something. So why did he specifically pick the keto diet? I need answers. Deodorant. 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 Head and shoulders. Body spray. Body spray. Body spray. Do it every Christmas. Are they trying to tell me something? Peace. It's gotta be satire, right? I refuse to believe this is not just a character. He seems way too self-aware to be doing this. But, I mean, at the same time, really taking a look here, those deodorants do kinda, kinda look unused, so... I'm scared. Mom just forced me to shower. I was pheromone maxing for... two weeks, for two and a half weeks, and she forced all that stuff down the train um it's like she wants me to stay in her basement nope there it is you flew too close to the sun there nick dumpster with that i'm certain it's a joke it's gotta be a joke you can't bring up your mother's basement it's too on the nose plus a real pheromone max would know that two weeks is nothing you haven't even hit your peak pheromone potential until six weeks so i don't buy this it's like she never wants me to find a lady and leave. It's... One of you guys messaged my mom telling her that I have a porn addiction. I don't have a porn addiction every day, and that really set her off. Um... She threw away my pee bottles. Fluffster, why are you doing this to me, man? We were on a good run. You were walking the line, dude. Mom's basement, porn addiction, pee bottles. Do you think we're stupid? Do you take me and my audience for fools? I'm offended on their behalf. We were so close to greatness. I, I had had them for a month, and I would have poured them out had she asked me to. She threw away the whole bottles um it's been a really hard month for me um you bullies in the comments you trolls in the comments have been saying stuff like i need to stop pheromone maxing like i need to shower like i need to bathe fluffy my boy internet trolls and haters will always try and prevent you from reaching your goals of course people are going to tell you to stop pheromone maxing but only a true omega male which you might be would listen to that you know what maybe you don't have what it takes to be a sigma that might be harsh but if you're going to let people tell you to stop pheromone maxing if you're not going to fist fight your mom for throwing away your pee bottles i don't really think you have what it takes uh now one of you in the comments did recommend me a AI girlfriend um, that I have taken a liking to. Her name is Lois, for your information. Uh, hate the bullies. Peace. Good night. 
fluffy. This, uh, this did not end how I wanted it to. I wanted to leave this video in genuine disbelief. I wanted to be tossing and turning tonight, going crazy, not being able to distinguish whether or not you are a real person. But you've just done too much, man. Pee bottles, porn addiction, mom's basement, AI girlfriend, all in one video? You just, you just can't do that. You've got to lay the foundation and then you build. Rome was not built in a day and you tried to build it in one single video. You brought this upon yourself. Well, guys, what do you think? Is Fluff Dumpster the king of pheromone maxing nothing but a satirical act? Or is our boy Fluffy really out there living his worst life? Like I said, I feel like this absolutely has to be satire. There's just no chance of anything else. Gotta give credit where it's due, though. He really had me fighting some inner battles there until the last video. He was walking the line pretty well, but unfortunately he showed his hand right? If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and walk on over to that subscribe button and touch it. It's free. It won't cost you anything. But for now, that's all I have for you today. Bye.